guys welcome back hey i have a question for you you ever drive in jamaica yet or you ever go in a vehicle where somebody driving you around jamaica because if that is so the story them i'm about to tell you you're going to know that they're a hundred percent true so two things them say about jamaican two things them do fast them run track and them drive hard and the next thing them say now is if you can drive in jamaica you can drive anywhere in the world and a true thing that so one thing i can tell you right jamaican people love them hard you see when them greet them friend like them see them bread in a come them beat them hand for tell him howdy or when them them want to thank you can you let them out in traffic them beat them hand or if you take too long to move off of the light them beat them hand and if you ever bad drive them they get the longest, loudest beep. And when I come to foreign, you see, two things catch me. I say, all right, to drive in on the wrong side of the road. And then I say, so wait, them don't blow them hard. <laughs> they don't blow it here. And if they blow it, watch out. So the next thing now they make, and people when they're driving, them can be a little stubborn, you know. You ever go into town yet, and you reach Flatbridge. And you see two vehicles in the middle of Flatbridge facing one another. Nobody can go nowhere. And nobody now reverse. And the whole line of traffic from the two sides just back up. Well, I can tell you I experienced that firsthand. Because I was in the car with my husband. And him got into the bridge first. And we got about maybe two thirds of the way over. And we see a lot of men come in on the bridge too. And we're facing each other now on the bridge. So I'm there saying to my husband, just come with us back up now and just let, let him go and let's get on with what we have to do. Well, I see my husband draw out him glee now and, and lean it on him steering wheel like him a reed. And I said, well, what will happen now? Next thing I know, I only hear when a lot of man draw on gear and I hear boo boop, boo boop, boo boop. And it's him that going round us on flat bridge. If you know flat bridge, you know say it make for one car, right? On, at a time <laughs> and the two on the edges is no railing or nothing it's just some little speed bump and that is what we hear him boop booping over to pass us so I, mean, I don't know if you ever see that yet but that was the first and the last for me to see that next time now there was a road between Lime Hall and St Anne's Bay named Gully Road and one time they had some heavy rain and it washed away. And already before it washed away, the road was windy with a steep precipice on one side and a sheer cliff up the other side. And every time I used to take people there, them used to freak out about this, this journey, right? So this time now, the rain washed away the road. So only one little strip leave where car can go over and them have to drive slow and take them time. One morning I am going down and this was like two days before them lock off the road completely to fix it back, right? And I see this taxi stop. And it's about eight men and women getting out of this taxi. And then they walk over the little place. And when they get to the other side, the taxi man draw a film gear now and go over slowly and oh so nice. And then everybody get back in the taxi and them go about their business. Me couldn't believe it. <laughs> really couldn't believe it. Then the next thing again now is the minibus. The minibus them, especially during school time, first of all, them drive hard. And then play some loud music in the in the the bus, right? And when them ready to pack up the schoolers in there during school time, then pack them in like sardine all standing up. And when the schoolers and everybody and the bus want to get off and then reach them spot, them just shout out one stop driver, and that's it for them. Okay. And next time now, my husband and I were going to South Coast and we're going over a spur tree, and a rain start to bust. And when we hear the shout now, we put on the windshield wiper and it make two little squish, 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 and then it stop work. So I see my husband pulling over, I say, all right, I guess I'm just out of way, because there's a heavy, heavy rain, you couldn't even see. Me see him buy an onion and cut the onion in two and take the raw side of the onion and wipe it on the window. And we head on back and not a rain, no bother, we just drive on our way with the onion, onion on the screen. I learned something that day so whenever you go on Mount Rasset now or some people know it as Mount Diablo and you see the man them are hang on on the truck back you can't believe or you see them just 
sit down on top of a whole heap of flour or pig feed or whatever way up at the top there or you see pick up back full of people and everybody stand up you can't see that here one minute of that is out here and the police whoop whoop them stop them you know so in those days when I was young and learning to drive the roads are narrow and when you see a car pass the next car you kind of hold your breath and squinch up yourself because you can't believe the two of them can pass and then don't slow down neither you know but nowadays them have only a highway and you know I'm not saying there's no more narrow road but them really have a whole heap of highway now and so it's a different experience but I could go on and on about this because it's 36 years I drove in Jamaica and so maybe there'll be a few more of these because it was fun but it was also an experience and one that I don't mind sharing now because it's 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 fun stories right so if you enjoy the video please subscribe please you know thank you for watching and um, share it with your friend like drop a comment tell me anything about your experiences and i'll see you on the next video bye